Okay, so we're up to basically it's it's the word number 348 in uh, Chinese. So um, this one is ji uh, go. So ji go means a mechanism, or it means an institution. Ji is first tone, and go is fourth tone. And the next one is ji, and then yu. Ji is first tone, and yu is fourth tone. And it means favorable circumstances or an opportunity. And the next one is ji, first tone, lei, third tone, and it means to accumulate. And it's used as a noun or a verb. The next one is ji, first tone, dong, is fourth tone. And it means to excite, to stir, or to agitate. It, makes, it means also like if you're really han ji dong, it means you're very nervous. The next one is ji, first tone, lie, fourth tone. And it means intense or uh, some like intense emotion. It's an adjective usually. And um, the next one is ji ge, both second tone. Ji, second tone. Ge, second tone is a rising tone. And it means to um, pass, for example, a test. So you could say, wo kao ji ge le. It means I passed the test. Wo kao ji ge. It means I passed it. So wo han yu shui ping si ji kao ji ge. It means I passed the fourth level uh, Chinese test. Remember, han is fourth tone, and then han, han is second tone if you're talking about Korean. Han, fourth tone is Chinese, and han is second tone, and it means Korean, so it's two different things. And sometimes my second tone isn't very good, but it's all ji, ge, it's always raising up here. So the next one is ji, like um, in the martial art, tai ji, uh, quan, tai ji, quan, tai, fourth tone, ji, uh, second tone, quan, second tone. So the fourth tone is the falling tone again. So tai ji, tai ji means the ultimate extremity. So um, in Chinese it means uh, the supreme fist for tai chi. So a lot of people don't know that um, when they're English speakers. Um, the next one is ji qi, all second tone. Ji qi is um, most or extremely, but this is a more of a book uh, word or more formal word. And then the next one is ji jiang. Ji is second tone and jiang is first tone. And it means about to do something. But this is also more shu mian yu. Shu first tone, mian fourth tone, yu uh, third tone. And that means um, it's formal language, not used in the streets all the time. The next one is ji second tone, mang second tone. It means very in a much like a rush, if you're in a rush. The next one is ji he, ji second tone, he second tone. And ji means to gather and he means to close. So it means to gather together. The next one is ji, fourth tone. And then zai, third tone. Ji zai, uh, to record something down in writing. The next one is ji, fourth tone, yu, fourth tone. It means discipline. Ji lu hen zhong yao. Wu guo ni yao xue yi men wai yu ni ni you you hen hao de ji lu hen zhong yao. It's very important when you're learning a foreign language to have discipline. The next one is ji, fourth tone, qiao, third tone. Ji qiao means skill or craftsmanship. The next one is xi, fourth tone, and it means a system. It could also mean a department, um, like uh, wai, wai yu xi um, is the foreign language department. Um, for example, I'm teaching in Hampton University's foreign language department. Wai yu xi. Um, so the next one is ji, fourth tone, and it means a season, like chun chun ji or uh, like you can say chun tian which means the season of spring 
or you can say chun ji uh, ji is fourth tone and it means the season ji du all fourth tone ji is fourth tone du is fourth tone and that means this um, quarter of the year um, and then the next one is ji fourth tone jie second tone it means the season ji jie and then ji fourth tone it means already um, but it also means to be finished with something but I also, yeah, basically it means already. Uh, the next one is qi, fourth tone, ran, second tone. Qi ran means since in, in Chinese. Qi ran ni lai le, wo men xue xi han yu ba. Let's say, um, since you arrived, let's learn Chinese. Qi is fourth tone and it means to send something. Qi yi xia. Uh, to send ji ji dao ni de jia it was sent to your house bao guo ji dao ni de jia the package was sent to your house um jia first tone ban fourth tone first tone sorry so both first tone and jia ban means to work an extra shift or to work overtime the next one is jia Ru, jia is first tone, ru is fourth tone. Jia ru means to add something. The next one is jia you zan. Jia is first tone, you is second tone. Zan is fourth tone. Jia you zan is the gas station. Jia wu, jia is first tone, wu is fourth tone. And that means um, your chores that you need to do around the house. And the next one is jia third tone, ru, second tone. Jia ru, it means uh, supposing you did something or if. Jian uh, gu, jian is first tone, gu is fourth tone. It means very strong or sturdy. The next one is jian se, jian, third tone, that's falling and then rising. And then se, fourth tone, jian se, means to take a test, uh, usually like a physical examination. Dian is third tone, and it means to subtract. Um, so, like for example, Dian Fei means to lose weight, uh, and that's the next one. Dian third tone, Fei second tone. Fei is like fat, so you're losing fat. So, but in Chinese, so you just say Dian Fei, so reduce weight. Now the next one is Dian Sao. Dian is um, to reduce and Shao is also is to be less. So this means to re uh, lessen. So um, they're both third tone. And then Dian Li. Dian, third tone, and then Li is fourth tone. And Dian means simple and Li is like a history. So Dian Li is your CV. Now the next one is Jian, fourth tone, Shen, first tone. It means to um, stay fit. Tian Shen Hun Zong Yao. It's very important to stay fit. The next one is Tian Tian, all fourth tone and all falling tone, and it means by degrees. Jiang is first tone and it means a river. Remember, also in Chinese, there's another word. He is also a river. So um, the next one is Jiang, third tone, and then Jiu, and that's neutral. Jiang Jiu. Hanzhong Jiang Jiu Xi Jie is very. Jiang um, Jiu means to pay attention to something, like to stress something. So if you Xi Jie is the details, so if you really pay attention to details, that's what that means. Jiang, uh, third tone. Zuo, fourth tone. Jiang Zuo is a lecture. And then the next one is Jiang, third tone, and it means a prize. It also means to encourage someone. The next one is Jiang Jin. Uh, Jiang is third tone and Jin is first tone. And it means a um, monetary award. And then the next one is Jiang, third tone. Xue, second tone. Jin uh, is first tone. Jiang means like an award. Xue means to study. And then Jin means gold. So it means a scholarship. Jiang. Uh, is fourth tone and it means to drop. Jiang, di, jiang, fourth tone, falling tone, di, um, the first tone or the level tone, that's high, 
and so 降低 means um, to fall down or degrade uh, it means really to go lower and then 降 fourth tone and 加 fourth tone 降价 means um, uh, 降 is to fall and 加 is prices so falling prices 降落 uh, is all fourth tone 降 fourth tone falling tone 落 falling tone and that means to uh, land like 飞机降落了 uh, it means to the plane uh, landed uh, the next one is 降 when uh, 降 is to fall and it's a falling tone uh, fourth tone and when is the first tone or the lo level tone high level tone and it means um, 降 is to fall and when is temperature so it means the temperature is dropping 焦 is first tone and then 换 is fourth tone and uh, so again remember the fourth tone is a falling tone and 交换 is to exchange something and then the next one is 交 first tone 即 is fourth tone it means a social to socialize and uh, the next one is 教 fourth tone and 授 is fourth tone 教授 is a professor it also can be a verb so it means to teach and then the next one is 教训 okay 教 is fourth tone and 训 is neutral 教训 means to give a lesson to someone or it's a moral lesson the next one is 阶段 Jie is first tone and duan is fourth tone. It means a stage of doing something. Uh, the next one is jie, first tone, and then dao, fourth tone. Jie dao is a street. Um, and so is jie, and dao means like a path. And then the next one is uh, jie, second tone, and then sung, third tone. And it basically, these two characters mean about the same thing, like jie means to save, and sung means to save. So jie sheng means to save or cut down. The next one is jie, second tone, and it means a knot or a junction. And um, it could be like guan jie, um, also your um, uh, like a tendon or something like that. And then jie go, jie, second tone, go, fourth tone. It means the structure of something. And then the next one is jie lun, jie, second tone, lun, fourth tone. And it means a conclusion. Uh, logical conclusion and the next one is jie third tone mei fourth tone uh, jie is an older sister and a mei is a younger sister and um, the next one is jie third tone and then shi is fourth tone jie shi means to explain and uh, the next one is jin third tone and then kuai fourth tone is means quickly and it's an adverb the next one is jin mi, jin, third tone, and then mi, fourth tone, it means close together, um, closely knit. And then the next one is jin li, all fourth tone, and it means uh, the best a uh, person can do. The next one is jin, fourth tone, and then kou, third tone, it means to, um, to import something. The next one is jin, fourth tone, dai, fourth tone, it means modern times. And the next one is jin, fourth tone, and zhi, third tone. It means to prohibit. The next one is jing, dian. Jing is first tone, and dian is third tone. It means the classics. The next one is jing, first tone, li, fourth tone. And it means um, energy or vigor. And uh, finally, the next one we have here is jing, fourth tone, ran, second tone. It means unexpectedly. And the next one after that is Jing, fourth tone, Po, second tone. And it means um, a shot or a scene or the camera lens. And the next one is Jing, fourth tone, Zi. And that's, um, this Zi is neutral tone. In other words, it's Qing Sheng, it doesn't have any sound. So Jing Zi uh, is a mirror. And the next one is Jiu Jing. Jiu is first tone and Jing is fourth tone. And it means finally or at last um, at last or after all okay so and then the next one is jiu third tone and then ba jiu ba is and ba is first tone it's a bar and then the next one is 
ju mean ju is first tone mean is second tone and ju means to live somewhere and mean means people so it means a resident then the next one is ju first tone and then ju fourth tone and um, ju means to stay somewhere and ju means to stay somewhere so this like you can see a lot of verbs in Chinese uh, especially modern Chinese they're composed of two characters on uh, compound uh, characters or two word uh, two character words um, so a word in Chinese si, might be composed of two characters um, and a lot of times in modern Chinese it is whereas in ancient Chinese a lot of times it's just one character now the next one is ju, uh, second tone and it means a chessboard and now the next one is ju da, um, all fourth tone which is the falling tone ju da, it means a gigantic or huge and the next one is ju bei Chu fourth tone, bei fourth tone. It means to possess something. And then the next one is chu fourth tone and li second tone. Chu li is a distance. Chu fourth tone. Um, this is another character, and it means to gather. And then chu hui, chu hui. Chu is for, fourth tone, falling tone. Hui fourth tone or falling tone, and it's a party or a get together. Juan is a role of something um, like Kao uh, Shi but uh, Juan is usually uh, I think they say Kao Shi Juan fourth tone but Juan is also to roll something up in the third tone when you use it in the third tone Jue second tone is a rising tone Se falling tone Jue Se is um, a role in something and then um, that's it for today because I just go up to this particular character um, because I've, I've run out of time but um, I will try to do more um, and maybe finish all of these um, HSK words today thank you for listening okay so we're now on let's see on word 428 of 995 for HSK level four. And this one is Kai Hua. Kai is first tone, and then Hua is first tone, and it means uh, blossoming. Like in the springtime, the flowers are blossoming. Kai Hua. Um, the next one is Kai, which means to open, and is first tone, and Shui, third tone. Kai Shui is boiled water. Um, it's uh, usually like in China um, people always say that Westerners drink cold um, drinks with ice but uh, Chinese people um, like um, hot water for example so um, in traditional Chinese medicine uh, there's an idea that if you drink something like cold water with ice and it um, it will damage your stomach and there's some reality to that but um, having lived in Hainan um, a lot of Chinese people are drinking ice drinks in extremely hot places so that custom can be changing but that is a general rule the next one is Kan fourth tone falling tone Bu uh, neutral tone Qi third tone that's a falling and then rising Kan bu qi, it means to look down on someone. Kan means to look, and bu means not, and qi means rise, to go up. So kan bu qi is to look down on someone. And so the next one is kan wang. Kan is fourth tone, and then wang is usually fourth tone, but here it's just neutral. Kan wang is like to drop in on someone. Um, so Wang means to see and Kan means to see so um, Kan Wang um, uh, Kao uh, third tone which is uh, falling and then rising and Cha second tone Kao Cha means to do an investigation um, so yeah usually say Kao Shi for a test but Kao Cha for an investigation um, uh, cha is also um, uh, means to kind of inspect and then the next one is Kao uh, third tone and then Lü fourth tone Kao Lü 
means to think、um, something over. 我考虑一下，让我考虑一下 Let me think about it. So,、um, "ke" is the next one, and "ke"、um, just means it's a measure word here, and it means like、um, "e ke."、Uh, usually, it's for plants. So, like,、uh, I believe it would be "e ke shu,"、uh, like a tree. So, "ke" is first tone. The next one is "ke," third tone. And then "jian" fourth tone. "Ke jian" it's obvious.、Uh, "Ke" means able, and "jian" is to see. So "ke jian" means it's evident. So the next one is "kong jian,"、um, all first tone, which is the high level tone, and it means space.、Uh, "Kong" is first tone, and it means empty or hollow. Okay, and sometimes this is also used in the fourth tone. Um, so, um, but uh, kong um, is uh, empty, hollow,、um, void. Um, now the next one is ko, third tone, and then da,、um, neutral tone. Ko da is a pocket, and the next one is ko, third tone, and then yu, third tone. Ko yu is.、Um, The language that everybody speaks. Ko means mouth, and yu means language. So the next one is ku. Ku is third tone, and it means something bitter. Now it also can mean something like hardship. So in Chinese, you say chi ku la, chi ku ni ni yao xue, uh, kung fu ni yao chi ku. If you want to learn kung fu, you have to. Um, suffer some hardship. Chu means to eat, but、uh, chu can also mean, in some ancient contexts, for example, can mean to drink, or it could also mean to experience something. So chu ku means like to experience some suffering. Okay, so now the next one is kua ti. Kua is fourth tone, and it looks like the the Chinese character for hui, but here it's it. Uh, actually, it's not kuai ti. I'm sorry. It's kuai ti, kuai ti, and ti is neutral tone. Kuai is fourth tone. So kuai ti, kuai looks like hui, but it's not. It's、um, the same character, but it has、uh, two different sounds. And here it just means an accountant or accounting. And、um, the next one is kuai di. This is a different、uh, kuai. But it's fourth tone. They're both fourth tone. Quiet is fourth tone or falling tone, and D is fourth tone. And quiet D is like、um, express delivery. And then the next one is quan. It's all first tone, and it means very wide. But it can also mean relaxed or relieved or comfortable. So that's something else. Okay. And the next one is quan. Guang, Guang, Guang is first tone and Guang is third tone. Guang,、uh, I'm sorry, actually it's Guan Guang. Sorry, I'm getting this wrong. It's Guan, which means wide, and then Guang, which is third tone, means wide as well. So it means extensive or vast. And then.、Um, Then the next one is、um, Kuang, fourth tone; Quan, second tone; Shui, third tone. And Kuang, Quan, Shui、uh, means mineral water. So again, Kuang is fourth tone; Quan is second tone; and then Shui is third tone. And so、uh, Kuang, Quan is a spring, and Shui is water. Kuang Chuan Shui is mineral water, again. And then Kuo Da Kuo is fourth tone, and Da is fourth tone. It means to enlarge something. To Kuo 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 is something that means、uh, to enlarge, and then Da means big. So Kuo Da.、Um, the opposite of it is Suo Xiao,、uh, which is both third tones,、uh, and Xiao is small. So suo、uh, means to shrink something. So suo xiao 
uh, means to make something smaller, and then kuo da means to make something bigger. The next one is kuo jian. Kuo is fourth tone, and jian is third tone, and it means to expand something. So, um, and so there's something similar um, to the last word, um, but um, when you have words that are very similar, like verbs that are similar, focus on the difference between the second character. If you have two characters with kuo, um, and then, but to make the compound word, you have another word like kuo da, means kuo da means to enlarge, right? But kuo jian means jian, fa jian, jian is to expand something, but not necessarily, it's not like making it larger, it will make something larger, but it's also to develop it as well in that um, context. So there's a slight difference. The next one is kuo, fourth tone, and then hao, fourth tone. Kuo hao are brackets in uh, Chinese. And then the next one is la ji, la is first tone, and ji is fourth tone, and it's rubbish or junk. And then the next one is la kai. La is first tone, and it means to pull, and then kai. Kai here is neutral tone, though. La kai. La kai means to open up or draw back, increase the distance between something. Now, la, fourth tone, means something spicy. Han la da. is han la da. So, la is fourth tone, like uh, huo guo. Han, uh, yi ban lai shuo shi han la da. Uh, huo guo han la da. It means um, hot pot is very spicy. Uh, lai bu ji, lai bu ji, lai, second tone, rising tone, bu, neutral tone, then ji, second tone, or rising tone. There's not enough time. Lai bu ji le, it means there's not enough time. Or lai bu ji, uh, lai de ji, lai de ji, de is neutral, lai is second tone, or rising. In ji is second tone or rising tone. Lai de ji means that there will be enough time. And then the next one is lai yuan. Lai, second tone. Yuan is the second tone. And it means the source of something. Lai means to come and yuan means the source. So this is the origin. The next one is lao, third tone. Gong and gong. Um, so gong is neutral. Lao gong is a eunuch. Um, so somebody who has been castrated. The next one is Lao Jia. Lao, third tone. Jia, first tone, is an old home. Or it's basically your hometown or where you're from. Lao Po. Lao Po. Lao is third tone and Po is neutral tone. Lao Po means your wife. So you can see Lao is an honorific in Chinese. It doesn't just mean old. It means respected as well. Now the next... Um, Next word is le qu, le fourth tone and qu fourth tone and it means delight or pleasure. And now the next one is le fourth tone and it means a tear to like cry. And um, le fourth tone and then shui third tone. Um, le is the falling tone, shui is the falling then rising tone. And so le shui means a teardrop. And then le fourth tone, xing, and second tone, means a category. These are different characters. And so that's why I recommend that you have the whole list of the HS, new HSK4. Make sure it's the new HSK4 uh, words. The next one is lang, third tone, and then jing, fourth tone. Lang jing means uh, to be calm or to be relaxed. Ta uh, han lang jing, he's really relaxed. Next one, or she. Li, mi, li is second tone, and mi is third tone. And that means centimeter. And the next one is li bu kai. Li, second tone. Bu is neutral. And then kai is uh, first tone. So um, li means to leave, and bu means not. And then kai means open. So it means I won't leave you. Um, I can't do without someone for example wa li bu kai ni wa li bu kai wa da ai ren i can't leave my um my lover for example the next one is li qi li is fourth tone and qi is neutral and it means the strength or the effort 
The next one is Li, fourth tone, Shi, third tone. Li Shi is history or past events. Like in um, Xi'an, there's uh, Shanxi, Li Shi, Bo Wu Guan. It means the um, Shanxi Province um, History Museum. It's a very famous place in Xi'an, which is a city in China that I lived in for two years. And the next one is Li Ji. Li is fourth tone and Ji is second tone. It means immediately. The next one is Li, fourth tone, and then Xi, first tone. Uh, li Xi is uh, interest. Li here means something favorable. And then so uh, that's why Li Xi means uh, interest. Li Yi, Li is fourth tone, and Yi is fourth tone. It means interest as well. And then the next one is Lia. Nia, third tone, it means two. The, you could say Nianga, but Niman Lia, you, the two of you. You don't say, you could say Niman Lianga, but you could say Niman Lia, which means the two, two people. It means Lianga. Um, the next one um, is Liang Hao. Liang Hao. Liang is second tone, and then Hao is third tone. It means a good score. Um, it's like your B in most of the grading system. Um, liang, fourth tone, is a measure, like an amount of something, okay, and uh, quantity of something. The next one, it can also be a verb as well, by the way. Uh, the next one is liang, liang, shi. Okay, liang is second tone and shi is neutral. It means food or grain. And the next one is Liang Bian. Liang is third tone, falling and then rising, and then Bian is first tone. Liang Bian means um, in both directions. And then the next one is Liao Yang. Liao is uh, second tone, and Yang is third tone. Liao Yang is uh, recuperate. And then the next one is Liao Bu Qi. Liao is third tone, Bu is fourth tone, uh, no, is neutral tone, and then Qi is third tone. Amazing, terrific, or ordinary. And then Liao Jie um, is all third tone, and it means to understand something, but it also means to be, like, to get familiar with something. There are two words in Chinese for understanding something. One is Li Jie, which is a little more, according to my understanding, it's more precise. Liao Jie is to be familiar more with something. The next one is Lie, fourth tone, and it means a file, rank, or row. And then the next one is Lie Che, Lie is fourth tone, and then Che is first tone, and it means a train. Uh, Lie Ru, Lie is fourth tone, Ru is fourth tone, and Lie is like to a row, and then Ru is to enter, so it's to be included in something in a list, for example, and then lie wei, uh, lie, fourth tone, wei, second tone, means to be classified as. And the next one is nin, nin shi, nin, second tone, and shi, second tone. Nin shi means temporary. Wo nin shi, dang lao shi, wo nin shi, dang, I'm temporarily a uh, Spanish teacher. Um, Ling Shi, Ling, second tone, Shi, second tone. And these are both rising tones, and it means like a snap. And then the next one is Liu, Chuan. Uh, Liu is second tone, and Chuan is second tone. It means to spread. The next one is Lo, T. Lo is second tone, and then T is first tone, and it means stairs. And then the next one is Lu, D. Lu is fourth tone, and D is fourth tone, and it means land. The next one is Lu, Xu. Lu is fourth tone, and Xu is fourth tone, and it means one after the next. Um, and then the next one is Lu, Qu. Uh, Lu is fourth tone, Qu is third tone, and it means to enroll or to record. And the next one is Lu. No, Lu, Lu. Uh, this U is you, more forward. And 
like uh, the French U, and it, but this here is fourth tone, Lu, and then Shi is fourth is first tone. So this means a lawyer. The next one is, for example, Fa Lu. Fa Lu is the law. Fa is third tone, and Lu is fourth tone. The next one is Lun. Lun is the second tone, and it means a wheel. And then the next one is Lun Chuan. Lun Chuan, um, all second tone, it means a boat or steamboat. And then Lun Yi. Lun is second tone, and then Yi is third tone. It means a wheelchair. And then the next one is Lun Zi. Uh, Lun Zi. Lun is second tone, and Zi is uh, neutral. And then that means a wheel. And uh, this zi uh, can be used after a lot of objects and it's neutral. For example, di zi. Di zi is um, a flute. Uh, so the zi means a thing. Di zi. Uh, di zi. Uh, that's probably the correct pronunciation. Di zi. Um, so di is second tone. Now the next one is lun, wen. Lun is fourth tone and wen is second tone. Uh, so fourth is falling, second tone is rising. Lun Wen is a dissertation. Luo is fourth tone, and it means to to fall down or to settle down. Uh, Mao Tin Mao is second tone. Tin is first tone, and it means a Tao. And then the next one is Mao Yi. Mao is second tone, and then Yi is first tone. It means a sweater. And then Mao Zi Mao Zi Mao Zi. Do you have a hat? Mao, fourth tone, zi, neutral tone, mao zi. And then mei cuo. Some people in the north will say mei cuo. Mei cuo. Um, it means you're right. Uh, so there's two things. Uh, mei is second tone and it means not. Uh, bu also means not. But there's a big difference between mei cuo and bu cuo. Bu cuo, bu cuo is, that's not bad, um, but me cuo is, that's right. So it's a difference, there's a difference in meaning. Now the next one, me fa, me fa, you could say me fa, me is second tone, fa is third tone, but me fa is just adding the ar hua that you can normally found, find in the northern part of China. And me fa, um, it means it's not possible. Fa, like yiga fang fa, wo zhao yiga fang fa. Yiga fang fa is uh, a way to do something. So mei fa means there's no way to do it. Uh, mei, mei, second tone, mei, xiang, third tone, dao. Mei xiang dao, uh, fourth tone. Uh, xiang is third tone. So mei xiang dao, I didn't expect it. The next one is mei jin. Mei is third tone, and Jin is first tone. It means the U.S. dollar. Um, the next one is uh, Mei Nu. Mei is third tone, and Nu is third tone, and it means a beautiful woman. And the next one is Meng, fourth tone. Meng means a dream, okay? What the Meng Xiang, my my dream. What um, the I don't know what it is. So my dream is Meng Jian. Meng Jian. Meng Jian. Uh, Meng is fourth tone. Jian is fourth tone. It means to see in a dream. And so the next one is Mi. Oh, Meng Xiang. Meng third to, uh, fourth tone, and then Xiang third tone. It's a uh, to dream a uh, dream of something and then the next one is me me all fourth tone and um, just means my secret what the me me shi uh, the next one is me shu me fourth tone and then shu shu first tone it's a secretary and then the next one is me hun me it means very close it's fourth tone and then the next one is me ma Mi is fourth tone and ma is third tone. It means a uh, password usually for like your your um Dian Zi Yo Jian. Uh Dian Zi Yo Jian is your email. So 
呃，你的密码多少？呃，或你的密码是什么 ？Of course, you shouldn't tell your your、um, password to anybody. Me, fourth stone, tie, first stone. It means os oscillation, I guess.、Um, yeah, it says oscillation. I'm not even really sure what that means.、Um, to be honest, mian, third tone, fei, fourth tone. It means free. Just a Should mean fade up. You don't have to pay. Uh, 不用不用付款 You don't have to pay. 付钱付款 You can say either one of those things for paying. 面试 Oh no, the next one is 面临面 fourth tone and 临 is second tone. 面临 It means to confront. And then the next one is 面试面试呃做面试 For example, is to do an interview. Mian is fourth tone and shi is fourth tone. The next one is miao shu. Miao is second tone. Shu is fourth tone, and then that's to describe. The next one is miao second tone. Xie, miao xie is to descri describe or to write about.、Um, the next one is ming pai, ming pai. Ming Pai. It's really Ming Pai. Ming Pai, Ming second tone Pai,、um, second tone. But Ming Pai,、uh, I think, would be、um, the Arhua. But、uh, Ming Pai is a famous brand. Ming Pian, Ming second tone, and then Pian fourth tone. It means your business card. Of course, nowadays people don't usually have that. They just exchange their、uh, emails or they. Or use social media to interact with each other. The next one is Ming Ren. Ming is second tone or rising tone. Ren is second tone, and it means a famous person. The next one is Mo. Mo is first tone, and this means to feel for something. Mo Xia. Mo, and um, so um, like to feel through the dark as well. And then Mo Ter. Mo Ter. Is a model. Mo second tone or rising tone. Te, mo te, te is fourth tone. But of course, in the northern part of China, you're always going to say you're not going to say mo te. You're going to say mo te.、Uh, that means a model. And then the next one is mo xing, mo xing, and mo second tone. Xing is second tone, and it means a pattern.、Um, the next one is mo. Uh, it's the end of something. These are all different characters. So this one is fourth tone, and mo it means the end end of something.、Um, then the next one is mo mo. These are also different characters. So make sure you have the character list before you. This is all fourth tone, and it means quietly. And then the next one.、Um, actually, you know what? We're gonna call it a day um, because. Um, Uh, I'm going to be busy later today, but、um, I will try to、uh, do more in the future,、um, and hopefully, eventually, I will get this done. I keep on saying that I'm going to get it done, but you know, it's quite、uh, difficult to finish all of this because、um, right now I'm on word number 526 of 995, and.、Um, You know, it's just、uh, a long process because 995 words is a lot of different characters, and、um, I hope you listen. Like, if you listen to this whole podcast and you go through all these,、um, it, especially all these Chinese words here,、um, your Chinese is just going to improve a lot. And I do want to say something about、um, just in general, like、um, studying Chinese.、Um, I realize that in the world today, there's a lot of conflicts and different points of views,、uh, points of view、uh, about the conflicts.、Um, and I believe that even though there are short-term conflicts between the United States and China,、um, in the long term, if we take the broad view,、um, we really should be promoting、um, cross-cultural interaction. We should be learning from each other. Uh, regardless of the fact that、um, you know things are being politicized and the world is being divided in the world today, so those are my、uh, viewpoints about those、uh, topics. 
and um, I do hope that in a future date in the world when uh, populism and nationalism of any kind of extreme variety calms down, uh, maybe uh, as a world we can uh, strive to understand each other and not lose sight of the fact that um, we share this earth uh, together. So those are my uh, viewpoints um, that uh, of course go against the grain of a lot of political thoughts. Um, so you might be wondering though why study Chinese? Well, um, China is, is a superpower but I don't think that's the only reason why. I also think just to expand your mind um, for the beauty of the language and um, you don't have to politicize the study of uh, Chinese as it's been done. I think that's damaging to politicize everything. Um, so it's better if we work to figure out um, more about each other and learn from each other and interact with each other on a personal level um, that can create um, break down barriers uh, more so than politicians can uh, or people who have a vested political interests in achieving certain goals um, which sometimes um, interfere with um, people uh, getting to understand each other at a closer level. I hope you have a nice day.